Overnight, uh, further footage appeared of the, the Sam and Joel Tompkins drinking incident. Um, everyone thinks the first video is the whole incident. It's not. It carries on. There's a second video that's been posted on several YouTubers' channels, either by video sharing and re-editing, or the people who actually shot the video. It, it, it's on about four or five different uh, YouTubers' channels, be it people discussing it, like I am. And I'm, I'm not using the video footage, obviously. But it's up there. It's on social media. It's gone over. It's done the rounds on Twitter. It's been shared vigorously. It's all over the place. We're going to have suspended Joel Tompkins for four weeks, plus find him ten grand. Sam Tompkins has been fined five grand. I think Sam Tompkins, we know he's going to Catalan. He doesn't come out in too bad a light. He's not been physically violent towards or physically verbally abusive towards the bar staff and other customers. You can see he's, he's discussing things with them, but he's very quiet. Um, but you can see he's he's either embarrassed or, or he, he's there. Um, the fact he's there and he's not getting his brother out of the situation, not good. Joel Tompkins, I think, may be probably not, may not see out his suspension as a Wigan Warriors player. I think he might be have his contract terminated. If you look at the second video, just look at part two. Um, it's it's on the internet. Um, it's it's not a great look. Um, he tries to slap the camera out of whoever's filming his hands. And he does make contact. He does take a swing. Now, it's not a, a connecting punch. But, yeah, if, if when we're going to see this, this footage, and they will. They'll have people in their social media department, their PR department, their, their press department, who will be panicking um, about the fact that there's more than one video and the incident carries on. Now, how far down the timeline that is from them leaving the bar, which is the first video, to them getting to the front door and still refusing to leave peacefully is yet to be determined. Um, could this have been the reason why Wigan's form has just slightly dipped over the last couple of weeks? Could this be the reason why the performance on the pitch um, in the Challenge in the Challenge Cup was so woeful the other day? We may never know. We do know that Sam Tompkins is is, is joining with with Catalan um, for next season. Um, we don't know what's going to happen with Joel. Uh, he's got a four week suspension. I would hazard a guess that he may not be a Wigan player for much longer. I think they may terminate his contract before his suspension is up. Either that or he's on the way out. I there are concerns. But there's more footage has emerged. It's not it's not a good look. Uh these are not the first rugby league players to get involved with a drink or drug related incident. Zach Hardacre, there's another example. And he was a player who got involved in a lot of off field indiscretions uh from his time at Leeds and at Castlewood and both clubs wanted rid of him. Leeds gave him to Castlewood as as a sale by Penrith and Carlson would terminate his contract a couple of months ago, did a video on that. These are not the first players to do this kind of thing here in the Super League. And then you've got Todd Carney in the NRL and Mitchell Pearce. They've had many a drink-related incident, some of which is highly illegal, drink driving and assault charges, uh, for example, over in the NRL. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Sam Tompkins, whether Catalan want to still honour that new contract considering the footage has come out, even though he doesn't come across in too bad a light. It's still bad that he's there and he's not doing enough to get his brother Joel out of the situation and encourage him to leave. Uh, Joel Tompkins, whether he plays rugby league again, the club's willing to take a risk on him, bearing in mind he's 32. That's up for debate as well. Um, but for the most part, rugby league fans, it doesn't matter what club you support, are, are pretty, for the most part, pretty disgusted with these two players' behaviour. I know there's a big issue with... with um, drinking and Friday and Saturday nights and pub brawls and things like this happen on a daily basis. As someone who's used to working in pubs, it happens on a daily basis. What high level sportsmen are going to be are role models and this is not a good way to say drink responsibly, enjoy yourself responsibly. They they get paid a lot of money, they get paid higher than the average wage in this country and I know rugby league is not as well paid as football in the UK but they get paid a damn good wage, damn good salary. Uh, and they're behaving like that. It's not a good image that the sport wants or the club wants. They want to encourage young people to take up the sport. They want to encourage people to become fans of the sport. People to get involved with the sport, be it as volunteers, administrators, you name it. That is not a good image. And it's a PR image that Wigan and Rugby League doesn't need. But I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, place your thoughts below. If you've seen the footage, uh, uh, you know, place your thoughts. Um, and we'll obviously, from reaction I got in the first video and the video the two videos I've seen it's not a good look other youtubers are discussing it um, it's on Twitter it's all over Twitter it's it's not great that's how I found it I found it by accident on Twitter um, yesterday morning 
when I got into work, I thought I'd check my emails quickly. I had a Twitter notification, and it was on Twitter, and then I followed it up on YouTube, and then I did the video last night. More news is broken. This ain't great. It's pretty, pretty bad. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. They are your friends. Place your comments below and your thoughts below. I'll have some more videos for you soon.